sports in Mansfield is ESPN Radio, WRGM, AM 1440, and FM 97.3. Hey, the program that you're watching tonight is I Love My Job, and we certainly appreciate and thank you for that. My special guest to you from us is Dr. Gordon. Thank you, Dr. Gordon, for being with us tonight. Thank you so much for having me. I really do appreciate it. I love being in Mansfield, and I love your show. Thank you so much for everything you do. Well, as you well know, rarely does a day, an hour go by on television, national TV, that they're not talking about veterans, particularly, particularly the boys and ladies that are coming back from Afghanistan and Iraq. Right. And you're all part of that. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I'm all about that. Um, actually, I founded the organization Resurrecting Lives Foundation, which is a nonprofit based here in Dublin, Ohio, in the heartland, uh, to take care of the young men and women coming back from Iraq and Afghanistan who have suffered traumatic brain injuries. That is the signature wound of the war. Uh, it usually occurs through the blast injuries, the improvised explosive devices. And we have an estimated 12,000 young men and women in the state of Ohio alone who are suffering from TBI, that's traumatic brain injury, and about 450,000 nationally. So that's what we're all about, that signature wound and helping them get uh, reintegrated and rehabilitated when they return from war. Now, you've actually devoted your life to this cause. Well, I have for the last six years, you know, but I still practice medicine uh, full-time in order to pay for the foundation's operating costs. We have um, a nonprofit where all the operating costs are paid for by my retirement, and then every dime of donation goes directly to veteran services. So we have 100% of the donations go for our veterans, and I did that on purpose. Now, the last time that I saw you was yeah. about a year ago, right. right? Okay. Now, obviously, a lot has happened in your life and with TBI right. in that year. Right. Can you highlight for us some of the things that you've been able to accomplish? Uh, surely. And I will say that a lot of it was due to our Rock and Roll Festival last year, and that's 26, and getting a a large group like AMVETS behind us has been very, very mm -hmm. helpful. Um, as of the result of last year's festival and the great people here in Mansfield who helped us out with that festival, we were able to get four of our young heroes from this area who had actually suffered from traumatic brain injury and had not yet been correctly diagnosed or treated and were able to get them involved in a program that we were sponsoring in New York at Albert Einstein University in New York. Ooh. So we will be having at the end of this year, um, the results for that will come out. We took 20 young soldiers and their age matched male sibling who had not been to war so that we were able to tell the difference in the brain in a blast injury and not a blast injury so that there would be no qualms down the road with a DOD or the VA saying, well, maybe this is hereditary. We yes, said, no, sure. he has it, he does not. And we had to use male-to-male -male brain. Um, we did get some questions about that when I mentioned it yes, last time yes. because a female brain, as you know, is very different. Yeah. So we have to compare male brain to male brain. No, we were able to do that as a result. And one of the things, of course, obviously, there's lots of things you're looking for, but obviously in this particular cause, like all causes, you need money. Yes, yes, we definitely are looking for that. And volunteers, people who actually want to give time and energy. Our young heroes coming back from Iraq and Afghanistan uh, sometimes need help getting to appointments, getting jobs, getting resumes, yeah. all of those things we can really use. And if you go to our website, there's a place where you can fill in to volunteer. And particularly, there's one organization here locally in Mansfield that has really uh, jumped on the, yes. this particular cause of yours. Yes, and that's 26. Yes, we love and, them. I'm not right. kidding you. And, okay. Um, I was introduced to them from your corner, okay. my classmate, Dr. Stu Rickman, and uh, I just love yeah. the folks that have helped us out through that with uh, you know, okay. Commander Don Robson and... Don Robson's the commander out there, yes. Post 26, yes. and we're talking about, uh, again, AMBETS Post 26, right on West 4th Street here in Mansfield, and they are a major benefactor behind this 
TBI, this Resurrection Life Foundation that the Correct. doctor's in charge of. And uh, uh, periodically, throughout the program, we're going to interject the fact that this is a fundraiser, folks, and you have an opportunity to be part of that, to give up your dollars and have a great night. Absolutely. Day, 12 noon to 12 midnight. You well, have a right. whole yeah. big day of it, that's yeah. for sure. 12 hours. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> And this is called a rock and roll festival, Correct, right? correct. Okay. At Amvest Post 26, again, uh, right on West 4th Street. Oh, yeah, and there's silent auction and food and the music. If you were there last year, you were there because yeah, yeah, I saw, sure, yes. I mean, the music is phenomenal, yeah. and it's mainly local artists who are doing it, so it, it really adds a lot. I would like to say that, too, just from the festival last year, there were three young men that we were able to meet either through their family members yeah. or who were there who had had some issues that we were able to kind of help work through that, you know. So okay. I think that that's very, very good. And that's coming up on the 10th of May, 12 to 12. I uh, need to take a quick break, okay. Doctor. Once again, we're talking to Dr. Gordon, and she is the founder of Resurrections Life Foundation. We're talking about a traumatic brain injury of veterans coming back from Afghanistan and Iraq. And we have a lot more to tell you, and you can be part of this right after this message. Chemical polishes can create a waxy mess. Finally, there's Dutch Glow Amish Wood Milk. Its simple ingredients break down years of wax buildup while easily cleaning and polishing all the woodwork in your home. Dutch Glow's like a magician in the kitchen cleaning cooking grease, fingerprints, and even scuff marks. Did you know most water rings are just a discoloration in the wax buildup and can easily be removed with Dutch Glow? Wow, you can even use Dutch Glow safely on painted wood surfaces like doors and baseboards. Call now and get your bottle of Dutch Glow for just $10. We'll also include a second bottle of Dutch Glow with our special wood floor nozzle. Just pay separate shipping and processing. But if you call right now, we'll even include our jumbo microfiber polishing cloth absolutely free. You get it all, a huge value. Here's how to order. To get two bottles of Dutch Glow for just $10 plus shipping and processing, call 1-800-816-1375 or go to DutchGlow.com right now. U.S. Farm Report, covering the country way of life, a great way of life. I'll never forget that moment. As long as I live. I realized that moment. When we first saw the damage, these people really needed us. And I was going to make a difference right here in my community. Together with local responders, we cleared trees and collapsed walls. We had to get to the family trap beneath. As a citizen soldier, I made a difference. Be there for your community at NationalGuard.com. Much of what we talk about today and should be talking about is our veterans, those men and women who have saved us and protected our freedom in Afghanistan and Iraq. And the doctor here is playing a major, major role in all of that, along with her partner locally. We're talking about Don Robson, commander of AMVETS Post 26. Right, now, uh, again, if I go back and said what has happened in yeah. these last years, you, major events have taken place. Yes, they really have. Uh, a lot because of this festival and the funds that we were able to receive from that to get our soldiers tested and treated, we've now gained kind of a national forum. Um, I have been contacted on our website by uh, soldiers, active duty soldiers and Marines, as well as veterans in 28 states. So we went from being very small in Ohio to 28 wow. states. Because of that, we've also gained kind of a presence with the help of AMVETS and with the help of the American Legion in Washington, D.C. Um, I started in this business through the guidance of uh, Congressman Stivers, who's my congressman, mm -hmm. who's also colonel in the Ohio National Guard. And from him, I was able to move on to uh, the Senate, some of the Senate committee meetings, and in particular, Senate 
Senator Rob Portman. And Senator Portman's office has been working with us uh, to develop legislation that's now a bill that's going to go before the Senate. It is a bipartisan bill. It's uh, Senator Portman from Ohio and Senator Rockefeller from West Virginia, bipartisan. And it is the first bill to be introduced that actually mentions traumatic brain injury. So wow. what they're talking about is before our heroes deploy into a war zone, they will be tested not only for m mental illnesses or mental problems or depression, mm -hmm. but also for traumatic brain injury. But the most important thing is each time they come back, they get to be retested. And that testing will say whether or not they need some special uh, rehabilitation or cognitive retraining before they would go back to deployment another time. That's huge. I mean, that's the first yeah. time that I know. And uh, we always say at Resurrecting Lives that we love our Congress and our senators. We have sure. great leaders here in Ohio. And I think the fact that we're doing that out of Ohio is huge. It also is the first time that we were able to get a major um, specialty board on, on tap here. And mm -hmm. I took Senator Portman's legislation and went to my board of physical medicine and rehab and said, you know, guys, we need to be in this game, okay? Yes. I mean, traumatic brain injury is our, our specialty. We need to take it bring these kids to rehabilitation, get their brains put back in order, because it's only mildly off. I mean, it, it, these are not major, major mm -hmm. issues that we're talking about. Uh, and I said, you need to get behind this bill. And my goodness, I called them one day. They're in Chicago. Yes. Their legislative arm met with uh, Senator Portman's office the next day. And five days later, they got uh, support from Whoa. the American Academy of PM&R. So I think that is a really yeah. good. And that started here in Mansell. So if everybody comes out on Saturday, yeah. just imagine what we could do. You know, yes. I yes. mean, I think that is very, very interesting. Because of Senator Portman's involvement, we also have Senator Brown involved, and uh, there's a Senator Donnelly from Indiana, who also is very much into helping veterans with suicides. Yeah. And because he knew I was at the office right next to him or a couple doors down, we came on over and his big um, issue for veterans is to prevent suicide. And what I said to his legislative staff is, treat the traumatic brain injury and you'll stop the suicide. You know, treat the TBI and all of the depression and the feeling of worthlessness and the inability to balance your checkbook or become a vibrant role back in your family, if you treat that, you prevent it altogether. So we're getting some buzz there, and yeah. it's all because it started here here in Mary's, in Mansfield. But you believe on a national level, people are beginning, those who are in charge, to recognize yes. the fact oh, that absolutely. there is a correlation between suicide and TBI. Oh, a person who has a traumatic brain injury is eight times eight times more likely to commit suicide than somebody who has interesting. If you add the treatments that are going on at many of the VAs, which is the psychotropic drugs, you may double or triple that because those medications alone carry a black box warning for increased suicide. So wow. that's why we're really trying to get the word out here. If you treat everybody as if they have, as I tell our heroes, and you've heard me say this last year, they're out of their brains, not out of their minds. Yeah. And what we are here to do is to bring the brain back. You bring the brain back and it makes a huge difference. But you don't bring it back yeah. by snowing it under that with medications. Because you know as well as I do, doctor, uh, this idea of suicide among these uh, vets coming back from these two places yes. is horrendous it and is it's horrendous. alarming. It is alarming and again I think it really says a lot for our Senate and our Congress to have taken this on mm -hmm. and they're actually you know bumping against some pretty good um, research that was done in the Vietnam era okay yeah. Yeah. Uh, and what they're saying is okay we know more now so let's make this leap into the 21st century about what we know yeah. about the brain. And again, we know more now because of you. Well, we know more now because of the technologies that's yeah. out there. I just happen to have had my own TBI, and I know how difficult it was for me as a physician to come out of it. So when I see these young men and women who have uh, left right out of high school to defend us, yes. and then they have seven, eight, nine blast injuries, and they come back, they cannot maneuver through the system that is the Veterans Administration hospitals. Yeah. As they would have a difficulty getting through any of our tertiary medical centers, it's a lot of a process to be oh, seen yeah. by a specialist now. Yeah, yeah, so we're just trying to help, uh, help make that a little bit easier for yeah. them. Okay, Doctor, we're going to take a quick break. Okay, thanks. Once again, we're talking about TBI, traumatic brain injury, and we're talking to the founder, Dr. Gordon, right here, uh, a Resurrection Life Foundation, and a huge, huge program coming up on Saturday, the 10th of May. I'm coming right back with more of I Love My Job.
The Congregation of St. John's United Church of Christ invites you to journey with us on Sunday mornings for an uplifting program. The 9 a.m. celebration worship is a come-as-you-are service with a blend of jazz and praise. At 10.30, St. John's hosts a traditional worship service. Visit St. John's this Sunday as they seek to share God's love with all people as shown to us in Jesus, the Christ. Tune in to WMFD-TV at 10.30 a.m. Sunday for the television ministry. Attention catheter patients on Medicare. I use catheters, and if you do too, please listen carefully. There is a new catheter that hurts less, and you can get a free sample by calling this number now. Pain and urinary tract infections have been avoided by many of my patients. These new disposable catheters hurt less. It's an incredible new design that reduces pain. The eyelets are polished, so they glide smoothly and effortlessly across your sensitive skin. Call now and get a free sample. Medicare and your insurance will pay for up to 200 of these catheters per month, all at little or no cost to you. Call now for your free sample. It will arrive with a complete 90-day order, and if it doesn't reduce your pain, we'll pick them up for free. Please call 1-800-413-6860. That's 1-800-413-6860. 1-800-413-6860. Uh, Once again, we're back. You're watching I Love My Job. We're talking about a major, major fundraiser event that's coming up on Saturday, the 10th of May. Correct. And once again, we're talking about Amvest Post 26, right there on West 4th Street. It's been there for a number of years. Rock and Roll Festival is going to take place. Money generated to assist... Our heroes returning from Iraq and Afghanistan with traumatic brain injury through Resurrecting Lives Foundation. Good. And we did this last year. Yes, we did. And it was so helpful as you've been able to, I mean, I'm glad that you had me back so I could thank yeah. everybody in this great county and surrounding area and definitely the folks from Amvet 76. We really are making progress. Um, I think if there's anybody watching your program right now yeah. who has, you know, a son or husband or daughter or relative, uh, even if it's somebody in the community that may be struggling a little bit from a couple tours of duty in Iraq and Afghanistan, have them contact us on our website website resurrectinglives.org or call the phone or stop by AMVETS post. I mean, there's people there all the time who are willing to help. Uh, Again, most individuals who served in these wars who have a mild traumatic brain injury, very easy to treat it. You know, a lot of times with your smartphone or iPhone or iPad, just so that you can keep track of your schedule and that until your brain kind of kicks into gear. And you all, when we were coming in today past the new uh, Veterans Administration outpatient clinic, it's a beautiful facility. Stop by there. Uh, Again, if you need anybody to kind of help broker you through that, our friends at AMVETS have been very, very helpful to us. And your Veteran Service Offices here, too, are are excellent. Excellent. Yes, the Veteran Service Commission, which I have to be part of that. Are you really? Uh, Oh, really? That is wonderful. Yeah, we've had a lot of success with this particular area. So the biggest thing is making that call, okay? I can tell you for a fact that having my own traumatic brain injury, uh, you can't get out of it on your own. You think you can. Yes. But you really can't. You do need Need some help help along the way. Yes, yes. Okay, again, we're talking about the 10th of May. Now, you've got lots of time from the standpoint that it's going to start 12 noon, Correct. right? We're going to go to 12 midnight. So you Correct, got about, exactly. you got 12 hours in there, and we would like you to come. Bring your friends and neighbors. Bring mom and dad. Bring the relatives. Absolutely. Whatever the case may be, there's something for everyone, Absolutely. without a doubt. And, of course, obviously, bring your money. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I mean, we really... We owe it to these young men and women, most of whom I will tell you, and I get choked up every time I go to say it, but they were in middle school or high school when 911 happened. And most of these young men and women made their decision that day. I mean, I've talked to uh, the youngest was in third grade, you know, when that happened because these wars have been going on for so long. And we really need to understand that in the civilian world. We're 99% of the population. We need to understand that 1% went to serve for us. Um, we owe it to them to give them a little bit of help when they come back. And by help, it's not like we're actually helping them. Getting our veterans involved in our communities and in our jobs and in our employment issues now actually helps us because this is a young group of people who has that sense of mission. You know, if I need to do this, I will do it. They also have that teamwork sense 
uh, the fact that working with other groups together, not really interested in you know taking the credit for it, but working together as a team. So I think that employers are going to be very, very susceptible to that. We are very lucky in Dublin, Ohio, to be talking with uh, some of the great members at Cardinal Health, for instance, and uh, the president of the pharmaceutical group there is a veteran, as is many of mm. the members of his staff, and they've been uh, employing veterans for quite some time. Scott's Miracle Grow in Marysville, Ohio, which is where I have my practice, has been employing veterans. But the CEO of Scott's Miracle Grow, Mr. Jim Hagedorn, is a former F-16 fighter pilot. Wow. I mean, I think that's what really helps. Yeah. And they understand the sense of mission, and I think our veterans understand the sense of mission in their CEOs as well. We are really into employment, not just hire, you know, not just Sure. Bring them on board for a job for a while. You know, hire them. Make them part of your company. Uh, the companies who have done that so far, uh, UPS is one of them, has said, you know, it's the best thing we did for our company because that sense of mission, that sense of camaraderie um, is there. And particularly at a time when not only are these veterans coming back, but we're also, uh, the economy isn't all oh, that exciting. Oh, absolutely, and, absolutely. Yeah. And I think that the unemployment issue, that's why the unemployment in our young heroes is double digits yeah. across the country. We really need, you know, these are folks who want to be working all the time. Sure. You know, I mean, they were used to 24-7, 365, you know. So uh, I think it, it's really a great initiative. And we're going to bring up some of the things like that, too, at the, uh, at the Rock and Roll Festival. Okay. And when, once again, we stated to you that last year it was a tumultuous success. We're going to duplicate that. that. That same thing is going to happen again with you. That's the important part about all of that. We need you to come out and, uh, to, again, uh, bring a carload. That's what it's all about. Absolutely. Okay. We want to thank uh, Home Depot and Walmarts and Sam's Club. They've always supported us in yeah. this community and as well. Great. And they both do that and they hire veterans. So that's great. Dr. Gordon's going to stay with us for a few more minutes, so we're going to ask her to stick around. All we need is uh, for you to come back and stay with us and help these veterans, won't you? Searching for the perfect home can seem endless unless you watch the Herring Realty Home Show, a video tour of Herring Realty's residential and commercial properties. See a hand-picked selection of Herring Realty's inventory without leaving the comfort of your own home. Hi, I'm Peter Herring. Whether you're looking for your next home or enjoy viewing quality homes, make the Herring Realty Home Show the next place you look. Herring Realty, where caring is key. Avery has been kidnapped by Kim Jong-il. I do, of course, still have some connections. Well, look what the cat dragged in. You broke up with Condoleezza Rice by text? Me plus you equals frowny face. Next time on 30 Rock. Thursday at 9 on WMFD. Pete and Liz have a secret. No one can know about this. Know about what? Are you guys doing it? Case closed. Pete and I are intercoursing each other. On the next 30 Rock. Thursday at 9.30 on WMFD. Hello, neighbor. I'm Pastor Webb. I pastor a church in Akron, Ohio called Victory Chapel. We're on this channel every Sunday morning that you're watching right now. We'd like for you to tune us in at 9 o'clock. Amen. We preach the Word of God without fear or favor. Preach it in the old-fashioned way, not compromising, not one little bit in this world. And I believe it will bless your heart, uplift your life, and strengthen you. Amen. I believe that with all of my heart. Every Sunday morning at 9 o'clock here on this channel. Tonight we're talking about our beloved veterans, what they go through, and Dr. Gordon is part of all that, as well as AMVETS Post 26, because this is a fundraiser, and that's what we're talking about, and you are the founder. Yes, I am, and 100%, 100% of these donations goes directly to veteran services. I want people to understand that there's very few groups that can claim that yeah. same initiative there, but that we find that to be very important. Okay, again, 
uh, Dr. Gordon, in yes. order to contact you, what is the best vehicle? Uh, the best vehicle seems to be uh, the internet through our website, okay. resurrectinglives.org. And I have my own name on there, and then there's a general information that you can get. It also tells you everything about how we got started, my sense of mission, why I got started down this path, and everything that we've been doing in the last year with the help to this great community as okay. well. So I think that's the best place. Second best place would be using the telephone. Most of our young heroes I find out text and it's a little bit hard for our staff sometimes we're older like myself texting is not in our forte so internet is Me a little too. bit better it's a little bit harder yes. you know they'll text us a long message and I'll, I'll try to answer yeah, I, you know yeah, yeah. 20 minutes later I've got three words you yes, know so yes. it's Me too. Yes. it's true but we'll take it anyway we will we will take contact anyway Okay, and the great part about this year, as far as this organization is concerned, is that you now have national presence. Yes, and I think, you know, and again, I don't look at it as our national presence. I look at it as national presence for our heroes. You yes. know, we consider us to be a voice. We are just their voice for those who may have lost it in all of the turmoil of war and in the turmoil of coming back and trying to work through the Veterans Administration or if you're working through the private sector healthcare system, yeah. it can be very daunting. So um, what I want to tell our heroes and their families, you now have a national voice. And uh, when I had my traumatic brain injury, I did lose my voice for a period of about six weeks and really couldn't speak fluently for about six months. And so when I got mine back, I'm, I'm giving it to you. You know, that, I figure I got it back for a reason, and my reason is to be able to tell folks in Washington and the Academy of PM&R and the DOD and the VA, this is what it's like to be inside that brain trying to get out. Listen to me, because yeah. if you don't, I'll just keep coming back. <laughs> <It's true. laughs> well, good. Thank you very much for that. <laughs> well, thank you so much, and thank you so much for having me. Last year and this year, yeah. it, it really has been a major jump start yeah. in this organization. We've only been around since July 28, 2012, and you know we're already you know helping with legislation for our heroes in Washington D.C. Yeah. That's important. And the, and the good thing is that you you've got tons of organizations or groups that are backing you financially. Oh, and uh, it's very helpful as well yes. as physically. Yes. And and again, we just we we just can't emphasize, ladies and gentlemen, the importance in all of this role. This this uh, traumatic brain injury with our veterans from Afghanistan and Iraq that Dr. Gordon has founded and, and how, how AMVEST Post 26 is playing a major role in all of that. And, and the point of it is we're not leaving you out because you can be part of this. Yes, exactly, and, and great. a major part. It really is a major part of a grassroots effort that started here in Ohio. We have the sixth yeah. largest veteran population. Again, 12,000 estimated yeah. young men and women with TBI in our state. Yeah. Let's take care of well, thank you, Dr. Gordon, for all of the thank wonderful you. things that you're doing for us, the veterans of the United States of America. I'm Doug Thigger, and you've been watching I Love My Job. We're asking you to come back next week for another great show like you saw tonight. Please remember, Saturday, May the 10th, 12 to 12, and Vets Post 26. This is your opportunity to contribute to those veterans and to this foundation. Thank you for being with us. We're coming back next week. See you then, and good night. Shop the Price Drop store at WMFD.com and save. You'll find huge savings on merchandise and services from a wide variety of area businesses. Every day, new items are available for sale at big discounts. Make your purchase online and we'll mail it to you within one or two business days. The Price Drop store is always open at WMFD.com. Start saving today. Availability of some items may vary.